Alex. <laughs> well, when you're making ads that say uh, there is no God, it usually means your campaign doesn't have much of a prayer. It's not the best <laughs> thing to be doing here. Uh, it, there's a way to make this attack. There's a way to say, look, you, you, this lady goes to church, believes in gods, but look who she's taking money from. This is a question of judgment. There's a fair way to bring up who you're associated with. This seems to cross the line. If uh, this this also just hits the ball back over to Netta Hagen to to put this uh, to put this race away. And at the very end of that ad, when you hear a woman's voice say there is no God, that that was a woman that may sound somewhat like Kay Hagen, but it wasn't Kay Hagen. Uh, but it, it leaves the impression, uh, Hillary, that that was Kay Hagen saying there is no God. And I and I think that from. Uh, Kay Hagan's point of view, that's one of the most offensive parts about the ad is that impression when that clearly wasn't her and in fact it was sort of um, fake audio there. Look, eh, the wheels are coming off of, of Senator Dole's bus here. There's no question that she has nothing positive to say. She's been in the Senate an awfully long time and if this is the best she has to do in an ad, then you know, no wonder every single major newspaper in North Carolina endorsed Kay Hagan, who has been routinely voted one of the most effective state senators there is. I think, you know, Liddy Dole's um, uh, abandonment of the state has kind of come home to roost well, here. I, she and she hasn't has abandoned just, that state. She has just screwed uh, up. Alex, and now uh, she has nothing to do but throw in? mud. It's a, it's a tough race, you know, when John McCain uh, is, is barely on the winning side of that. Now, John McCain does have a chance to carry North Carolina, but Elizabeth Dole is running a couple of points behind him. 